Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video. I have the 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD Dually red with black flatbed obviously from the Dually drivers and this is series 8 so it's the limited edition you have the 164 scale and the 14 plus there kind of covered up with the box then you have contains one die cast vehicle and then the French version of that and as you can see there is actually a lot more standout detail on this one anyway I'll, I'll go into it a little bit more when I take it out and there you see the dually drivers on the side front and back of the vehicle the vehicle seems to be mostly in shape but I guess we won't know until we take it out so just go over quickly on the back there you have collect the whole series and green light, GL collectibles, dually driver, series 8. So this is the previous to the two others, which I will bring in later. You have the dually record C30, 1969, 1972. Blue and black with flames, the downtown shell service. Then you have this one here, 3500 dually, red with black flatbed. Then you have the 2017 Ford 350 dually, Detroit, Michigan mounted police. The 2018 3500 dually landscaper dump truck bright silver metallic and then the 2018 ram 3500 dually wrecker i think i want this one because it's the most modern one i don't want those two with their anyway it's not important then you have exactly as what was on the front of it except for here we have the ford licensed product ram licensed product which is stellantis and fiat or fca and then you have here the gm and so without Oh, and there you have the production code. So it was built 2021, the 175th day. And there's a number of it. And obviously the 2021 green light. So without any more delay, I will get it out of the package. And so just to recap, that is the Ford, but this is a Series 9. It's not a Series 8. And it's the letter A in the school bus yellow. I talked about how the color of this sort of is contradict okay so here we have it it is the standard extra large tray as all the green lights you guys know that they come in the little trays that keep it from getting overly damaged and so here we have it nice and shiny and the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the front to see if more or less the lights sorry the rear view mirrors are flat this one is not quite as level as this one but this one seems to be okay and as you guys can see here the plastic that goes for the lights even you can see the pins where it goes in they does sort of stand out because of the contrast with the surrounding silver metal but over here everything seems to be level and flat no front license plate there's the radiator there's the chevrolet nice and easy to see and you have the air intake there, which leads me to believe that this is a Duramax, which the Duramax would be the diesel. However, without it saying Duramax anywhere, you have no guarantee. Usually they, they are the diesel, but there is a gas engine. And so just looking up, you see there the uh, steering wheel on the left side. Rear wiper detail, the cabin is nice and clear. You can see right through it. Well, actually... The side windows you can't, but the front windows you can. So just bring that up. And we're going to the other side here. You have clearly legible 3500 HD. The handles for the doors, the little cutouts because of the red paint is a little bit faded. Uh, you can see here the uh, running board. The running boards look nice, but apparently it's not very level and it's not all glued all the way in. And then you have it more or less even with the bed that's important because there are some that are two piece where there'll be sort of a gap in the middle there uh, wheels run nice and freely the tie down there you can see the nice detail there the signaling lights the turning lights all clearly made and they're all even and they're all not mispainted so another thing just quickly as you can see this the trailer hitch which I think all these dualies except for the tow trucks come with it is just a little bit off to the side that can be easily fixed and we go to the other side where it is almost exactly the same 
you have there the box, sorry, not the title, and it is in fact a box. There is, I think, what is the gas cap? Only because it's not on the head, but you guys can sort of see here where there is a little bit of a gap because this is not level. But I'll see if that can be fixed. So just go quickly to the top. You can see two there, one there for the signaling lights. I do not believe the bed shifts or move. It's not like those uh, Hot Wheel premiums where the bed will come out. And so finally, the underside of the vehicle. You have the matte black, which I'm totally in favor for. And this is actually the first time I've ever seen them print the information. I guess these are very specific to this Chevrolet. But you see the limited edition sticker there, 00671. But then the information, instead of normally printing it on the vehicle itself, they've just printed it on the running boards. So there you have 2016 Chevrolet Silverado, Silverado 3500 HD. Exact same date code as what's on the box. And it's production number. And then on the bottom here, you have the green light stuff. So 2018, so this is just a re release from Greenlight made in China and there you have actually the one thing that is printed on the vehicle the GL100 CC uh, so the GL100 will be the product code of the so for example all the Silverados will be the GL100 and I will have to look up what the CC means I think it's because it's a different uh, instead of having this what they've done is put this on it which is the main difference. Obviously, you guys can see it is not a pickup truck. It is a flatbed, so more of a utility for moving things like scraps, gear, steel, bumpers, everything else. And so far, I do see, I do like the actually the wheels, the ones that stick out. And you can see it's done reasonably well. All four of them. I don't see too many issues. Obviously, the tires are not 100% even, but this can be straightened out relatively easily. Uh, and the final test I will do is its drive test. And as you can see, with most of these dualies, I have never actually... The dualies, not the regular, like the Tradesman that I had and the Hemi from the Hitch and Toe. They seem to want to roll. This one actually rolls the best out of all these ones here. You can guys see it right away. Anyway. So, and then for towing, I just have here the... AeroVault, which is what I basically use now for everything. And as you can see there, it's cross-compatible. Everything will work with everything, which is great. I mean, these are not cheap. They're about $1.50 more than the regular because they are physically larger, as you can imagine. So, if you like the color red and the Silverado, which I believe is the diesel version of it, but there's no way to prove it because it does not say Duramax. This one will say Power Stroke. And as you guys know, this one has the C for Cummins, but this one without it saying Duramax, I'm unsure if I can 100% say it is the diesel. And as you guys can see there, they're teasing us about the uh, engine, the hood opening, but for this one, the hood does not open at all. And I don't want to destroy it trying to take out the hood. So there you guys have it, the Chevy Silverado 3500 HD from Greenlight. They're dually Series 8. These are Series 9, and this is the... Hitch and Toe, Series 24. Thank you guys for watching. This is Thomas from Toronto, and till the next one.